Hello guys, it's Jez from uh, Beats for Business. I'm here at um, at one of our apiaries. After this, it's one of my favourite apiaries, um, and uh, it's a slight apology because the weather has uh, has not been great. So we're about ten days behind where I'd like to be to give you an insight into your colony um, and go through your hive because we're heading towards the w uh, the winter now. The, the late autumn for the beekeeping season. We really finished beekeeping around about September. We continue to monitor the hives through October and then really we do nothing with them through October to March. Obviously we monitor them from the outside and it's when we repair hives, when we check they've got enough food etc etc but we don't go into them. And the reason is is very simple. Um, between sort of 10 and 14 degrees Celsius, we don't really like, if we can, to do anything within the hives, um, and certainly not less than 10 degrees, because you risk uh, chilling the, the brood. So the, the queen lays an egg. Three days later, that hatches. The bees start to feed that hatched egg, which uh, obviously goes to a larval stage. And while it's exposed for those eight days, if it chills, it can create disease and also kill some of the brood. And as we enter now the, the winter period, it's really important that there are enough bees left in your hive within your colony to keep each other warm and, and be nice and strong. Um, I'm just looking at a hornet actually. There's a, uh, uh, what happens this time of the year is the hornets hawk outside the front of the hives and they, they pick off uh, the bees. It's a really, really critical time this year for, for bees. So um, I was hoping that I would be able to give you an update inside your uh, bees, go through your colony, show them the queen, show you everything that's going on, uh, but it's just too cold, I'm, I'm not going to risk it. However, Thursday, I'm hoping it is going to be um, uh, a lot warmer. I mean, we're 12 degrees here, it's quite chilly. Um, I'm sat in the sunshine, it looks absolutely beautiful here. And I'll, I'll spin around in a second and show you the, the, the hives. Um, so we've got about 15, 20 hives at the, this particular apiary. Um, the wind has blown off uh, one of the top boxes of the hive. Um, it's not exposed, uh, or it actually has exposed some of the bees, but um, it, there was nothing in that top box. It was used to uh, uh, to protect the feeder, um, but it does mean there's a few wasps around. So I'm going to need to just have a quick look um, uh, through some of the gaps in there, make sure they're okay. Um, but really, this time of the year, I'm up here to feed them. Um, there's less now opportunity for them to forage because the weather is cooler, so they're not out as much. Um, and there obviously there are less flowers um, uh, now as the, as the season continues and less nectar. So we make sure that with very minimal time left for them to go and find pollen um, and nectar for the winter, we're, we're putting in some sugar syrup for them. So it's um, water and sugar. Uh, mixed together uh, and they eat that and store it uh, and then they consume that over the winter so they've got enough energy to keep the brood nest warm because obviously they consume that that glucose to give them energy exhibit I'm um, sorry um, uh, emit uh, warmth uh, and keep the, the themselves alive over the winter so um, I'll flip the, the camera around and show you I'm just sat on the back of the pickup truck at the minute um, so you can see um, the, the hives here. Um, this is the one here uh, with the white plastic on. I'm just going to come over here. Um, so this plastic pot here is um, is where we place the sugar syrup and the bees come up from underneath. So what's happened is this blue box was on top and then that roof uh, was on top of that. Uh, and what's happened is that we've had a lot of strong wind and that's blown that off. Fortunately, none of the others are affected. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, replace all of this, check these guys are okay in here, replace all of this and uh, then strap it up. You can see there's so many wasps here now because the wasps are, are looking for the, the sweetness of the sugar syrup. But it does mean that they, of course, have got access to get into the hive um, and uh, they could well, could well destroy the hive. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So hopefully another couple of days time uh, and I appreciate your patience. It's the wonderful joy about beekeeping is it is incredibly seasonal um, but it does mean sometimes you have to sit on your hands because there's not really anything to do with the bees um, and it's a, a bleak reminder of what's to come because bee farming throughout the winter is um, is a bit lonely because you just want to get in inside your bees we love them very much anyway uh, enough of that <laughs> dramatic lamenting of the fact that the winter's coming uh, we'll see you uh, later on this week when I go through your hives all right see you soon